Um, this is building our response to the climate challenge. So very excited that so many people have come. Um, so we've got, Jack Scott's going to tell you about the meeting we just had and about his ambitions for the Green Commission. Uh, John Roderick from Manchester and Andrew Coulson from Leeds. So they're the speakers. Um, so we're going to go through those talks and then the rest of the time is for us to have a discussion. So we'll do all the questions and all the discussion with the panel here um, after kind of the, the, the just run through presentations and then we'll be able to talk for at least an hour. Um, I wanted to introduce the audience a little bit. Um, how many people are from outside Sheffield? Okay, so it's a bit of city region representation there. Um, are we, oh, by the way, um, Chris is recording for Indian Media and Robin is filming for Engineers Without Borders. Well, that's, <laughs> so, um, that's okay with everybody. Um, Right. Who's never been to a climate meeting before? Um, and who would kind of say that they're people who are already taking a lot of action themselves, either personally or through work or through their campaign? How many people are, are very active? <laughs> So this is how much you want some action on climate change. So if, you're, if we do a scale of one to four, so one is you're not really bothered, two is it'd be a good idea, three is you're keen, and four is super keen. <laughs> um, do it now, we're going to line the road. Um, so one. <laughs>
it doesn't really matter what our second priority is, actually. So that's why we've done a whole range of things. That's why we'll be installing electric vehicle charging points later this year in Sheffield. That's why we'll be installing uh, gas uh, refill points as well. Through the Streets Head project that I manage, we'll be uh, replacing all of Sheffield with 65,000 LED lights, which will reduce our electricity bill by about 4% and our carbon emissions too. Uh, the Better Bus project is starting to have an impact, perhaps not the pace that any of us would want to see, but we are starting to see an impact in terms of improved carbon emissions from buses. And we've got Britain's largest energy network and its lowest rates of landfill. So Sheffield, we've got a good pedigree, a good place to start discussion about climate emissions and about carbon, uh, about carbon emissions and about climate change. And I think on the whole, cities exaggerate and councils exaggerate what we can achieve in the short term and underestimate what we can achieve in the long term as well. So, uh, beyond specific projects, what I wanted to talk about and what I hope this is effectively the first meeting on is the Green Commission that we will have later this year in Sheffield in order to kickstart our focus as a city uh, and kickstart the action that we need to take. We will be launching a, a Green Commission, only the second in the entire country, uh, to complement the work that our Fairness Commission uh, as a council undertook earlier this year as well. And that, I think there's three key aspects that we need to make sure that Green Commission uh, focuses on. One is about making sure we identify the, the areas we need to target and what actions we can take uh, to make progress and to reduce carbon emissions. One is about making sure that we take those actions and there is clear delivery, there is a clear plan, there is a clear model for actually making some of those things happen. Um, and then thirdly, I think we need to set out a very brave and compelling vision what we want Sheffield to look like as well. Because I know that if we're going to talk about emergencies, if we're going to talk about crises, there's only so much that talk, there's only so far that talking can get you that actually you've got to take action that is commensurate, that, is, that matches the scale of that challenge. And I don't think we're, we're doing that as a city at the moment. I don't think we're doing it as a country, and I don't actually think we're doing it as a society either. I'm, I'm fully aware of the scale of that challenge. So I'm a, I'm a super keen, I guess, if we do the vote again, I'll be one of those people who is super keen I want to make sure that we support as a council our city uh, to be as super keen as possible. And there is a lot that we need to do and I need your help with um, to educate people, to talk to members of the public, to make sure that everyone understands the crisis that we face as a species and the crisis that we face in particular as a city. Because the council, the ten of us in the cabinet, uh, can't do everything. Actually, as Arvind says, we shouldn't do everything. So we really have got to work together, and that's why I was so pleased to, to host this debate. So I just want to um, finish really by recognising that the, the cost of getting this wrong, the cost of ducking uh, the issues that we're talking about tonight, doesn't bear thinking about. Um, in terms of the discussion we had this afternoon, I think it was, it was very clear that actually the riskiest action to take is no action. Uh, and the second riskiest action to take is insufficient action. And, and so taking those bold and radical steps, I know we all need to talk about, we all need to get happening, uh, in, in a way, the lowest risk option that we're faced with. And I'm really clear about that, and we need to make sure we work together to convince other people and the rest of our city about the importance of that too. So, uh, that's the scale in terms of ambition. Our administration said we'll be the boldest ever in terms of climate change, in terms of carbon reduction, in terms of taking big, difficult decisions that will sometimes be very unpopular with some parts of our economy. So we have uh, laid down that formula. Uh, this, the, this event and then the Green Commission is the first part of recognising that challenge and starting to take some action. Uh, I'm really grateful that it's all come tonight. We've got some fantastic presentations that we're going to hear from. And I'm really looking forward to a really robust and challenging uh, and brave discussion uh, with all of you afterwards. Thank you very much.